there's gonna be mixed feelings about it. Some people are just trying to get their stuff done. I'm gonna try and read them to the best of my ability and bother who it seems like is botherable. I'm reading this as possibly open to hanging out and answering some Cleveland trivia. Yes, she is. I'm gonna bring this over there. This thing's not as steerable as you would like. What longtime football coach and Cleveland native served as the athletic director of the Downtown Athletic Club? Boy, you got a lot of sports questions about guys who have been dead since like the 1800s. You know I've only been alive since 98, I, I right? I know, I know, you tell us all the time. <laughs> Remember who, who wins the big college trophy every year? The Heisman? It is Heisman! Oh my gosh. The college football's most prestigious individual honor, the Heisman Trophy. In 2018, the Browns were featured in the 14th season of what documentary series? What is that? Series. You know it's not soft. I know the series. It's, it's, in fact, you might even say it's the opposite of soft. <laughs> I know it's hard, but I don't know. What is it? Hard knocks. Oh my gosh! <laughs> I should have started singing the song from Little Orphan Annie. It's hard the knock life for us. It's the hard knock life for us. It's the hard knock life for us. Some people like being involved in stuff like this. Others, not so much. Liz Lemon considers moving to Cleveland with her new boyfriend in a 2007 episode of what NBC sitcom? Uh, would that be 30 Rock? It is 30 Rock, very good. Uh, it smells so good. Cleveland. In 2020, <laughs> Toronto's Left Field Brewery announced the return of its double IPA that was inspired by and named after what infamous Cleveland event that took place on June 4th, 1974. They had a a beer night that was very famous. It got out of, got out of control. I heard about that. Yeah. In fact, I pretended to be there. That's how we roll. Everybody yep. was at Len Barker's Perfect Game, but there yep. were only 7,000 fans in it. I actually went straight from Tencent Beer Night to Len Barker's Perfect Game <laughs> in the same day. I'm going to go with the uh, the beer promotion. Tencent Beer Night knocked it out of the park like somebody tried to kill Mike Hargrove that day <laughs> during Tencent Beer Night. <laughs> I must have had probably 15 or 20 pounds of hot dogs thrown at me at playing first base. Hi, might be back. Sorry. Oh, come on. Hold on. Hold on, Brandon. From the minds of high school friends Jerry Siegel and Joe Schuster, what comic strip character was born in Cleveland? In Superman. Superman is correct. It's Superman! Yes, it's Superman! Since 2013, the Fighting Irish basketball team at what Akron Catholic prep school plays its home games at LeBron James Arena. Did he go to St. Ignatius? Hmm, do you think he went to St. Ignatius? Is that where you think yes, he went? Yes, I do. All right, it is not correct. He went to St. Vincent, St. Mary. Oh, jeez. Yeah. What Cleveland singer-songwriter won three Grammy Awards in 1989? Best New Artist, Best Contemporary Folk Album, and Best Female Pop Vocal Performance for her single, Fast Car. I know the song, I don't know the song. Now I gotta take it to anyway. <laughs> It's Tracy Chapman. Oh, yeah. You get a fast car. I want a ticket to anywhere. Thanks for letting me play. Hey, that's the Cleveland I'll spirit. I'll do better next time. That's the Cleveland spirit right there. <laughs>